My name is Althea Peacock. I am a director and co-founder of Lemon Pebble Architects and Urban Designers. In the jury, as one of the adjudicators, I represented professional practice. This year's submissions were incredibly interesting. Um, we got to see projects of various typologies um, in various contexts, and I found them incredibly engaging on different levels. I think there were projects that responded well to their context, they spoke well to landscape. Um, I also thought that the projects um, had a broad range of uh, responses in terms of their clients and user groups. I did feel um, that there were projects that could have broadened their narrative, that they could have spoken more to some of the issues that I encounter in my own practice which speak to uh, political and social landscapes and broader um, user groups and demographics. I don't think I s noticed any trends in any of the projects. Um, I did think there were some projects that spoke very particularly to how they responded to the urban context, um, particularly the edge condition of, of projects. Um, but I did think, and, and here I'm speaking about as, from my perspective as, as a practicing architect, that I do commend all the projects. Making architecture is almost an act of magic. It's an act of alchemy. Um, you get to a client, you get to uh, a user, and they think that we sit with our pencils all day coloring in and inventing these projects that magically happen on site and suddenly there's a building and we hand over the key. So I, I do appreciate the, the kind of professional rigor that's gone into every project. Um, I understand the process, I understand there were a lot of challenges that many of the projects had to face. Um, and they all came up with, with stellar, actually award-winning projects. Um, so as a body of work, comparing all of them, there is an excellent standard of work. And I really actually just learned quite a lot from engaging with all of these projects and reflecting on my own practice and how I could actually learn from very many of these projects. Um, but having said that, there is always the reflection of what it means um, for future buildings, for future projects, for young architects, for different ways of practicing architecture the projects that we see are part of engaging with that dialogue and with that debate and asking harder questions of why we practice the way we do, the kind of buildings that we do, um, what are the things that were missing from the projects that we, that we engaged with. Um, I think in engaging with a broader um, research about the buildings that do emerge from, from progressional practice, there were things around sustainability that I think could have been dealt with in a more rigorous way, in a tougher way, um, in a more um, innovative way. Um, so I do think there are, are moments in some of the projects that those things could have been pushed a little bit harder. In conclusion, I would like to say that I feel very privileged to have been part of this jury. Um, it really was an adventure, us traveling together, getting to know each other, um, finding that we have common values and that we didn't always agree. So we had differences and we had robust discussion about each and every project at each and every site. Um, it's been an eye opener to see how practices work in the various contexts and it's just been amazing to see our country from this perspective. Um, we live in a beautiful country and with incredible resources and my hope is that the next batch of projects that are submitted by the various regions really take into account some of the projects which we generally don't get to see that are in contexts that have challenges with resources or who have different demographics or projects that have more social agendas. I'd really like to have seen more of those things because it also exposes different kinds of architects and different methods of making architecture. And I really hope to see that kind of thing in future projects.